is Bree with Arco Iris Ranch. Today we are having some beautiful weather over here in Texas. Last night it did get down pretty cold and we do have a few nights this week that are going to get down to freezing but we were out here taking advantage of this beautiful weather. There's a few things I wanted to get done out in the garden. Um, I wanted to get some irises planted that I had bought last year. They're bare roots so hopefully they still grow but better in the ground they've just been sitting in my laundry room so we'll go ahead and get those planted we recently bought some onions that I want to get planted and there's just a few other little random things around the property that I wanted to get done so I thought I'd bring y'all along right now I have my girls with me let me show you what they're up to they're over there my <laughs> my daughter my oldest daughter over there is pulling out little bitty carrots out of our bed over there Okay, well, let's leave some of them in there and see if they'll get any bigger. But she's over there pulling some carrots. Baby girl looks like she's getting rocks. Yep, she found a rock. But we're going to go ahead and get started on a few projects. So the first thing I want to do is get these irises planted. So it says these are perennials. They'll come back every year. They get 36 to 48 inches tall. And it says I should space them about six inches. So these came in a bag like this. Um, looks like they're a bunch of roots. Let me show you. So out of the bag, it looks like this. So you can see the roots right here. And then this must be where it grows from. So let me see. It says there's eight in here. Let me see if I can go ahead and separate all eight of these. So it looks like our pack actually came with nine. This one does look pretty small, so I don't know if it's really going to do anything. But there are nine of them, and I thought they'd actually look really pretty around this. This is my ornamental onion, um, so it has like a purpley lavender color. And then these ones, these irises are of course that darker purple. So I think I'm just going to plant them right kind of where they are right now. So I'm going to make sure to bury all the roots. Baby girl's over here grabbing dirt out of this planter. Let's see what she does with it. And setting it into that planter. So I can check this off my list. All these irises are planted. Now these irises do look completely different than the other irises that I planted. So I don't really know what to expect, but they definitely weren't gonna do anything in the bag in my laundry room. So first project, crossed off the list. Very happy about this. So buying 160 onions and then trying to figure out where I'm going to plant them so that way they don't get in the way no. whenever I do plant other stuff. No. Hi baby girl. Is been being a little tricky. So my original thought was to line all the edges of the beds with all these onions. But I don't think I'm gonna have enough onions to quite do that. So I've been trying to figure it out. So give me a few minutes, let me figure it out, and then I'll let y'all know what I decide. So I think what I'm gonna start with is I have the bed where the strawberries are. And for this next season, at least, I'm not gonna move these strawberries. So I think I'm going to plant as many onions as I can in, in the strawberry bed. And then we'll see how many I can get and we'll see what I have left over. And then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start with the yellow onions and then see how many I can fit in here with the strawberries.
I definitely think I can fit a little bit more in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the white onion and lay those out as well. So as you can see, that is a lot of onions, but I think that's all I'm going to be able to fit into this bed. So give me just a minute, I'm going to get all these buried in the dirt. Well, my husband just came over and said that he needs a little bit of help with the shed. So I'm going to actually pause what I'm doing and go help him with this real quick. So this is actually gonna take me a while, so I am gonna go ahead and turn the camera off, and then I'll give y'all a little preview of what we did when we're done, and then we'll get back to planting onions. Got that all done, so now he's gonna go on to start working on the siding and stuff, but what we did, we wrapped this Tyvek moisture barrier all the way around his entire shed. And it's a little windy out, so that did not quite go as planned, and our stapler sucks. Um, <laughs> I think before we do anything else that's going to need a stapler, he's definitely going to be buying a new stapler. But now we're going to go ahead and get back to planting our onions. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go through and make sure all the onions are setting the correct way with the point up. And then I think what I'm going to do is just open a bag of soil and then just cover the top of them with soil because I want to put more good soil into the bed anyways. So I'm going to go through, like I said, make sure they're all pointing the right way and then I'll get the soil on top of them. So as you saw, I just put a couple inches of dirt on top of all of these onions and you can't see any of the onions anymore. So this dirt right here is a flower and vegetable garden soil. It's called Stagreen. I think that's how that's pronounced. And it has fertilizer in there so it feeds up to nine months. So this bed is done. So after doing that bed, I still have this many onions. So over here where I have some of the carrots and I had the Swiss chard and everything, I already have some onions planted over here in the corner. So I'm actually just gonna finish the row all the way across and then fill in some any, any other areas that I might have room for. So the other onions are right over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this whole area. So I got that whole area where you can see the darker dirt, I got that whole area filled with onions as well. 
And so that's the rest of the onions. So now I can cross planting all the onions off my list. So the next thing I want to do is get these Austrian winter peas sown. So I have this trellis right here behind me and then I have that trellis over there. So I'm going to go ahead and plant a few of these underneath each of the trellises. So I still have a lot of pea seeds left, but I went ahead and just planted, I think five underneath each trellis. And we're just gonna see if those grow for now. So now I'm trying to decide, I do have a few more things, a few more seeds that I could direct sow. Um, so I'm just trying to decide where I wanna put those. So I might not do that in this video, I might save that for a different day. But I do have one other project for sure that I know I wanna do today. So now I'm gonna get all my stuff cleaned out of the garden, get my supplies for my next project, and then we'll go get that done. just need a stake and then some string and then i'm probably gonna have to go get my husband's hammer now we have red clay here as our dirt up in the front and it's awful but i planted a lemon cypress up here and then a few days later crazy crazy wind it blew it completely sideways and then like a week after the wind blew it all the way the other way so i'm going to attempt to stake it up and see how it does. Let me show you my little guy. So there it is. Really, really sad looking. But I'm gonna try to get it staked. We'll see how that does. It's not really as windy as it was when I was talking about it laid it completely sideways. So we'll see how that does. I may need to tie another string up higher on the plant, but I didn't really wanna put it around the foliage right now. So we'll see how that does and we'll see if that helps. So another project I can check off my list. So I think that's all I'm gonna work on today. I'm gonna go over and see if my husband needs any help with the shed. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you in the next video. I lied, I have one more thing I wanna do. I wanna get this rhubarb plant planted. I've had it inside in my kitchen and unfortunately I should have planted it a long time ago. It's supposed to be a more cold tolerant plant and it's not gonna do anything inside. Um, now we don't keep our house very warm. Our house, I think the heater's set to 65, so it stays pretty cool in our house. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this planted outside. Now there is a chance that this thing might not even survive our Texas summers is what my sister and I were reading. So, well actually what she was reading. But um, what my thought process is, let me turn you around and show you. So I will have something growing on this trellis, whether it's beans, squash, cucumbers, something. And so when this gets nice and full, it'll be able to provide shade to this side of the bed. And then, so the sun comes up over there, and so it's all the way over there most of the day. And then in the summertime, all these trees have leaves on them. And so I think this will provide enough shade for this plant. So I'm gonna get it planted real quick. There it is, got her planted. So the variety is a Victoria rhubarb. So it says perennial cool season vegetable. So we'll see how it does. It might die, but if it does, then that's what I get for not planting it when I got it. So I really gotta get into the habit of when I buy something, before I buy it, knowing where I'm going to plant it. And then as soon as I do buy it, get it planted at least within the next couple days. So now that's it. <laughs> We're having a dove bath just like the chickens do. <laughs> mm <laughs> <laughs>
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, ja, ja.